Hello and welcome to the children's message. We're so glad that you joined us today. Before we get to our new story, let's remember what happened in our story last time. Do you remember how last time we were getting ready to go to the beach and we had our helmet on? And we remember that we have to get ourselves ready to follow God and share the good news. Right? We have to get our relationship right with God. So to be connecting with him in prayer and reading the Bible and all those good things. And in our story today, we're not getting ready, but we're doing something fun. So let's turn in our Veggie Tales Bible to James 1, 17 through 27. And it reads as follows. Every good and perfect gift is from God. It comes down from the Father. He created the heavenly lights. He does not change like shadows that move. God chose to give us new birth through the message of truth. He wants us to be the first and best of everything he created. My dear brothers and sisters, pay attention to what I say. Everyone should be quick to listen, but slow to speak. They should be slow to get angry. A man's anger doesn't produce the kind of life God wants. So get rid of everything that is dirty and sinful. Get rid of the evil that is all around us. And don't be too proud to accept the word that is planted in you. Excuse me, don't be too proud to accept the word that is planted in you. It can save you. Don't just listen to the word. You fool yourselves if you do that. You must do what it says. Suppose you listen to the word, but you don't do what it says. Then you are like the man who looks at his face in the mirror. After looking at himself, he leaves right away. He forgets what he looks like. But suppose you take a good look at the perfect law, and that gives freedom. You keep looking at it. You don't forget what you've heard but you do what the law says. Then you will be blessed in what you do. Suppose you think your beliefs are right because of how you live, but you don't control what you say. So, in this situation over here, our doggies are looking in the mirror that's right here. <gasps> are they gonna remember what they see? What if they look at it and they walk away and they forget right away? Well, then that's not very helpful. They need to look at what they say, they look at what they see and remember it. Just like God wants us to read his word and really think about it and remember it in our minds and think about it when we play and when we learn and when we're out of our house and inside of our house. So then we can really um, take it in and use it in our lives because God gives that um, he puts that for us to help us to learn about him and to have a better life and that's what God wants for all of us so let's not just listen to the word of God or pray a little bit let's really listen to God's message and think about it <laughs> so before we end let's put our hands together in prayer Dear God, please forgive us for when we hear your message and we forget and we get distracted by the world. Please help us to open up our hearts to your message and really think about it. Really allow your word to come into our heart and help us to follow you better in all that we do. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.